In 2011, the world's human population reached 7 billion. How long did it take for this many humans to be born? Well, humans reproduce at a rate of around 0.4%, sometimes spiking as high as 2% or as low as 0.1%. If we calculate backward using only 0.1%, then it would only take 7,062 years to reach today's population. But what about the evolutionary scenario? It says that the first humans evolved over 2 million years ago and that this group numbered around 10,000. If we calculate forward using the lowest historical rate of reproduction, then humans should have reached 7 billion people a long time ago. How do evolutionists answer this problem? They claim that the early human population had virtually no population growth for over 2.4 million years. Supposedly, the lack of agriculture slowed down mankind's reproduction. But let's think about that for a minute. Humans have always used agriculture. The earliest human remains and writings show evidence of agriculture. So how do humans have virtually no population growth for millions of years? Also, eons of people living on our planet would generate big piles of discarded and buried bones and many layers of their debris packed on cave floors. But the evidence is completely absent. How could the human population only recently reach 7 billion? Why not several hundred thousand years ago, soon after man supposedly first evolved? We just surpassed 7 billion because humanity has been around for only thousands of years, not millions. The 2.4 million years of evolutionary history with no population growth never actually happened. The current world population precisely aligns with biblical history. No added stories needed.